I teach complete English. Today I am here with an interesting topic which we discussed already. As a part of voice, we completed imperative sentences, right? How to change active voice into passive voice in imperative sentence we already discussed. We got a clarity on that. Now we are going to learn about another interesting topic in voice. The most important topic in any complete exam. It is about interrogative sentence in voice. How to change active voice into passive voice in interrogative sentence? What are the rules we have to follow? What is the easy method that we can find out the answer, especially in exam? We will get four options there. Let us know what are the things that we are going to learn today. Let me tell you one thing. Why I am saying anything? Please make a note on a paper or in your notes. Okay? It will be a good reference to you. Okay? Please subscribe my channel to get more information from me. If you like my video, please share it to your friends who are preparing like you. Okay? Let us see. What is the meaning of interrogative sentence? By seeing this question mark, we have to decide that it is interrogative. Okay? Does she write a letter? First, we have to observe which tense it is. By seeing does, simply you have to decide it comes under simple present. Which tense it is? Simple present. In simple present, V1 is the verb form in question. Then what about answer in the sense positive sentence? V5, V1 plus S can be treated as V5. Now, we have to answer this question first. She writes a letter. Actually, is this the answer? No. It is just answer for this question. Now we have to change this sentence into passive form. Because it is in active form. Okay? Now we have to observe carefully what is the doer and what is the sufferer. Here it is the sufferer and she is the doer. The main rule, exchange the positions of doer and sufferer. That's it. A letter A letter writes V5. A letter, what is the rule we have to follow? Is, R, Yam plus V3. A letter is written by she changes to her. Okay? Now, is this the answer? Is it enough? Actually, it is interrogative, right? Then we have to change this sentence into question form. How? We have to keep this helping verb in the starting to change it, to change this sentence into question form. Is a letter written by her? That's it. You will get this option along with three options in the exam. Okay? Let us see another example in interrogative sentence. How to change this question, this sentence? I mean, it is an active voice. What is the passive form of this sentence? Okay? Did he buy a book? Did he buy a book? By seeing did, what you have to get into your mind? Did is the only helping verb in simple past. In simple past. In the sense, we have to answer this question in simple past in this way. He bought by bought bought by Ying. He bought a book. Okay. A book is the sufferer. He is the doer. Okay. A book is referring to singular. Okay. A book, was our word plus V3 is the rule for simple past, invoice, okay? A book was bought by, he changes to him. Now we have to change this into question in this way. Was a book bought by him? We have to end with question mark, okay? In the previous example also, we did the same thing, okay? 
We have completed with helping verbs. Now we are going to learn about double H words. How to change them. With double H word. In the sense, in interrogative sentence already we discussed about helping verbs. How to frame uh, these questions into passive form. How to change active voice into passive voice. Okay. Now we are going to learn with double H words. Why does he teach the students? When you observe any WH word, just eliminate it. Okay, forget about it. Remaining part should be copied in this way. Does he teach the students? What is the answer for this? As per the simple present, this is the only positive sentence we can get from simple present, right? He teaches the students. Now we have to change this sentence into passive form in this way. The, the students suffer. He is the doer. The students are teach, taught, taught, teaching. Are taught by him. He changes to him. Now, it is going to change as a question in this way. You have to keep this helping verb in the starting in this way. Okay. Are the students taught by him? Okay. After completion of fourth step. Okay. In these steps, fourth step is the main step. And finally, you have to copy this double H word in the last. Okay. Then, why are the students taught by him? In this way, this is the answer for this question. Okay. In this way, you have to change this all. Don't think that why we are, when we can get uh, exact answer to this, these many steps do we need to maintain in the exam also. Don't think like that. If you practice it simply by seeing this question, you can answer this answer. Okay, it is very easy. Thank you. Please share it to your friends. Please subscribe my channel to get more information from me. Thank you.